Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Flying in Space with Planet Head. Uh, it is a good night. I am COVID free for the first time in eight days. I finally tested negative today, so I get to go back to work tomorrow. Um, other news, I am switching to a day shift schedule as of tomorrow going forward for the unseen future. So um, my game time playing will be a little different, except for my game days will stay the same. I'll be playing a lot more um, on Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. And then my uh, Wednesday through Saturdays will be uh, work-induced. So I'll have a limited time there, but still playing. Um, talked about a lot in the last couple of videos, but one of the new things they started doing was uh, giving a hint of the day. Um, to be blunt about it, I just made a video earlier today, and um, it's so weird. I, I'm looking this way, but then I know the camera's here. It doesn't matter. <coughs> um, and I, it was like a 30-minute later, and I got done with it. I was like, I'll post that later on. And um, then I really, the more I thought about it, I just didn't like it. I just babbled on because I was trying to fit out... My new arbitrator that I just built, I did a comparison video with a Mahler and um, didn't really, I'll get into that here in a little bit, but one of the things that I remembered about was the hint that I want to do. So the hint of the day, and I might have done this in the past or talked about this in the past, but I'm going to start logging what hints I've given. Um, but this one is the difference between a, a little known difference that I did not know um, with uh, micro warp drives and um, afterburners. And I'm just going to put, so that's a uh, 10mn afterburner on there and I need a 50mn, just regular, not a compact, just a regular um, micro warp drive and I'm only using this as a comparison I'm doing it on the really really badly fit arbitrator that I tried to do in the video earlier today that's why I brought it up but the hint of the day is uh, and I'm thanks so much uh, well I'm trying to think of a uh, cool name for the hint of the day so if you got any ideas let me know but um, the the one that I wanted to show you here was Obviously, every I always knew about this that um, an afterburner um, gives you. Let's just show you here. Um, your total it increases your speed, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it either doubles it or uh, triples it. So let's see here. So my actual speed is 230, and then with the afterburner on activated it's 509 so just over two times um, the speed it might have something to do with my um, my skills or something to that effect but um, so it d bumps it up to 209 um, and then if I turn that off that's it overheated if I turn that off it's at 230 so it's regular if I do a uh, micro warp drive it bumps me up to 1350 so basically five times or a little bit more than that um, everybody knows that and um, the other thing that most people know is the drawback for the micro warp drive is it actually increases your signature radius which is the ability of someone else to be able to target you speed quickly and get good hits on you um, so you get the added speed with the micro warp drive, uh, but you are easier to hit. So it really kind of negates itself. The one thing that, um, I did not know, and I think I talked about this, it really blew my mind because it started making me paranoid about looking at some other things. This is a hint is that, um, if you look at your capacitor area up here, your total capacitor, um, long story short, if you ha do not have a micro warp drive on your ship and you do not have, oops, just unfitting these, 
if you look here, both of these are unfit off here. Now, if I add on my afterburner, notice my total capacitor does not change. That's very important. Um, so that is not a drawback for that. But I did not know this, um, and this is in very important as far as ships that use a lot of capacitor, like your Amarian ships. Um, if you fit a, a, a micro warp drive on, watch this, it's 1581. Just by fitting on the micro warp drive, it drops down to 1265. So it basically drops 300 uh, capacitor um, capacity, capacitor capacity, which I had no clue about. I learned that by watching somebody else's video um, about two months ago. And I always try to remember that. And then when I'm fitting other things, because it, I don't think it actually says anything about that anywhere in the descriptions or anything like that. It might have it on the attribute. Yeah. So it does have a capacitor capacity bonus of negative 20%. So you're basically losing 20%. This is one of those things that it is there, you can see it, but sometimes you don't think to look for it. You've heard of other things. So if you did not know about that, hopefully it's helpful to you. It's caused me to spend a lot more time looking at um, the actual statistics, not just the specific ones, like how much faster does it make me go, but other things that might be involved. And that's actually very important with the way you fit specific ships. Um, an example would be the difference between an Amarian ship and a Minmatar ship. Um, an Amar ship uses the laser guns and the capacitor size. Um, and that's its ammo. And while they normally have a larger capacitor than most ships, it, that's what they need to use. Whereas a Minmintar ship, if they're using their projectile weapons, the projectile weapons don't use any capacitor, i.e. they don't need their capacitor space, so maybe they can put a micro warp drive on there and not worry as much. If I see other equipment that comes through, and that's why I liked, and the reason why I thought of this today was I did my comparison. Um, I was comparing, now that I've flown the Mahler a decent amount, and the uh, Omen a decent amount. I did a triple um, comparison of the Arbitrator try, to try to get a good feel as to fitting it out. And I'm going to be blunt um, right now out here doing my salvage fitting. It's almost impossible to fit the ship out where it would be even useful out here um, because um, it the the items that the rats that drop down here uh, you know how I like to salvage fit um, ships. Uh, the major bonus that this ship gives you are um, its weapon disruption. Well, out here in um, Sancha Land in Stain, they don't drop any weapon disrupting items. So I'd either have to build them or buy them, and I can't buy any that out here. So I'd have to get, and I'm not saying I'm not going to do it. I'm saying it's slowing me down. That is one of its, its major bonuses. The other thing being that it only has two gun slots while it has three um, missile slots. Um, and in reality, its capacitor capacity is lower than the Mahler and the Omen. Um, so the missiles are more important. Um, it also um, has a much larger drone bay. Um, so I can use drones, but my drone skills are not the best yet, and I don't have a drone damage amplifier, and I haven't seen any dropped in the month that I've been down here. So that's another thing that I could do. So really, trying to optimize this ship here is not working out that way. And I'm not saying optimize it um, as far as making it the best ship ever. You know how I like to scavenge fit my stuff. This is going to be a very limited ship until I'm able to build uh, some basic materials out here. So I'm going to have to pass up on doing the Arbitrator for a little bit. I want to fly it. Um, I think it'd be a really cool ship. Um, I used to fly the Vexers a lot on the Galente side, so I know drones back when I used to play. Um, and I'm interested in trying this out. There are major bonuses to it. Uh, most of Marian ships are limited with their lasers to um, thermal or EM damage, 
when you're doing all of the drones and this one can fly a lot of drones um, it um, <clears throat> or it can store it has a large storage bay for drones um, it can deal all sorts of different damage with those drones as well so something that I'm going to look at in the future, but right now it's just not working for me to get it up and running. It may not be very long. I may just have to find a wormhole um, to uh, get some cheap blueprints out here. But other than that, I got other things I can work on and have fun with. But um, so I want to do the hint of the day in that. Um, not a whole lot else is going on out here. I am slowly accumulating some stuff. Uh, the corporation has gotten going. Um, the uh, Five Bones channel, if anybody wants to join us here, if you ever want to look up, um, the link is under my description of Amanda Rose's character. Um, so if you ever want to check that out, um, we've usually got anywhere from three to five people in there, um, even on weekdays so far. I'm slowly meeting a few more people. Um, and one guy was asking he was going to be out in Stain, and unfortunately I got over COVID today so I had some errands to run or uh, we were going to go out and he asked me if I wanted to go do some flying around I was ready to do roll but if you would have asked me the last eight days I would have been all for it um, but if you guys want to join the Five Bones channel you're more than welcome to um, it is not a recruitment channel just want to put that out there um, other than that just trying to think oh um, with my change of schedule um, and I've been trying to do a little bit of this, uh, two updates. Um, I'm going to try to start scheduling the YouTube videos. I'll try to make them at night and similar to what I did today. Um, I'll schedule them to, uh, come out at probably 11 o'clock ish Eastern time, my time, um, during the day so that I can wake up in the morning and go, that one was really bad. I'm not putting that one out there, and I'll cancel it. Or I want to make another one right before good work. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try to start scheduling my videos to come out at that time of the day. Um, I got some good ideas for our corp that we're working on um, that I'm going to start uh, maybe putting in there. The other thing, and I, this is kind of a question to anybody that's out there, um, and I just downloaded... Uh, a free program called Blender. It's for um, doing animation and pictures and things like that. I don't know hardly anything about animation, um, but it's something that I've always been a little bit interested in. I don't know if anybody has used this program before. I watched one tutorial and it seemed fairly easy to learn. There's a lot to it, especially coming from a blank canvas that I am. Um, but I want to use that to start incorporating, maybe down the road, some better um, uh, animations into the videos. I would like to make some cinematic videos for Eve uh, down the road. But I'm going to try using Blender. Um, it was free. I like, I'm a big fan of that. But I don't know if it's the best one that's out there. So if any of you guys out there have used um, Blender or any of the other animation software that you think is really good but easy to learn from a complete uh, I would ask you to think of yourself as a three-year-old um, could you teach a three-year-old to do it because I have the knowledge of a three-year-old on this sort of thing I want to keep it really 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 simple especially to begin with um, but if you have any ideas or have any thoughts um, please let me know um, or if you have some good videos that you could send to me or post them in the comment section, that would be awesome. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Other than that, not a whole lot else going on. Um, I did go through my skills um, and reset those a bit. So I've got some uh, better exploration skills out here. Um, and I was able to get a couple relic sites recently, so that was cool. Um, and I've had a few visitors in the area, um, from the channel, so that's cool. Um, please keep challenging yourselves. Uh, I, I've debated on doing a, a form of an editorial about Eve. I hate editorials. Um, 
it's almost like reading a comment section on uh, on Facebook. Um, but uh, so I'm not going to go down that road. Uh, I think I brought up earlier there was uh, talking stations did post a couple new videos, so that's cool. I watched the the most recent one, um, and it's really nice to uh, have them back for news and things like that. Um, so, other than that, that's all I got. I know this was a short video. My the one that I did earlier today was thirty minutes long, and it was just me blabbing on about nothing. Uh, well, I was just basically fitting a very poor arbitrator. I do like to look at this ship. I think it's kind of cool looking. It's got kind of a um, Star Wars uh, early movie stuff. Now, I did downgrade my uh, my graphics a little bit so that I can get a better take um, or a better recording seems to be working a little bit better also my internet connection seems to be going a lot better now ever since i rearranged the room and unplugged everything and plugged everything back in and rebooted the modem and did ever just basically cleared everything seems like i haven't lost connection with eve in two days so i'm feeling more and more comfortable about doing more fun stuff that is out there so uh i'm not sure how much i'll have up and running the next couple of days i am getting back to work after being off for a week and a half because of covid I'm sure I've got a lot to learn. I'm starting a new shift where I'm in charge of a lot of new people. Um, and I know a lot of them, but uh, really great people. But I need to get myself back to work. But I will definitely be back on. If you guys have any thoughts, uh, please feel free to uh, pop them over to me. And uh, if you have any ideas about Blender, please let me know. Other than that, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly higher like you want. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.